Well, we've got CJRB. This is the Felspar. I didn't really pay much attention to this knife uh, when I saw it online. So I kind of uh, just didn't pick it up for a while. And I finally relented and got it because I was looking at the design and I'm going, this really looks sensible. I mean, this design looks sensible. Look at that blade shape. And, uh, okay. That's pretty sharp. Um, it's just a lot of things about it make sense. I mean, the ergos on this, yes. Reverse grip, yes. I mean, don't you think? And then the pass-through is really easy to disengage that uh, liner lock. These are pretty inexpensive, under 40 bucks. And then LTK discount code on White Mountain, knock off another 10%. Plus, they make this in a smaller size. So this is the three and a half inch blade size. They make one in a three inch blade size. And they make uh, them in micarta. I didn't see a micarta in stock at the time. So I got this one in gray. Yeah, eight inches overall, 20 and a half centimeters. You know, so 90 millimeter, three and a half inch blade. Okay, so this is pretty standard EDC size for me. But to get a smaller one, okay, probably a three and a seven. I didn't see the overall length. I didn't look. But with a three inch blade, that's probably what you're looking at. So it'd be lighter. It'd be smaller, but still kind of a sensible blade shape. Blade stock's pretty hardy. Ambidextrous thumb studs. It's not a flipper. It's just thumb stud knife. So can you middle finger? Yeah, you can flick it out that way or just use the regular thumb stud. Got a nice little contrast on the surround here. I think that's titanium. Maybe it's aluminum. Could be either one. Stonewash blade. The plunge looks pretty symmetrical. Here's the lockup. That's that's more than normal knives, or more than most knives that I review. They're usually 20 to 35%. This one's close to 40% lockup. That's pretty hardy there. And drops right down. Um, I saw a video, I know one of my buddies that I... Uh, Facebook Messenger with, and he goes, wow, Outpost 76. He's got a YouTube channel. You can see his video of this knife, the Feldspar. Um, not exactly a complimentary thing. In fact, I sent him a message saying, hey, I see that you just love that Feldspar. Because, I mean, he had nothing good to say about it. Oh, man, he got jacked up. So, Quality control, it's kind of like how did that knife escape with so many problems where, and then this one's fine. In fact, well, you can't get it in blue like this. I got it in gray, but I threw it in the blue dye pot because I got it in gray and it was, they say it's like a blue gray, but this was not a blue gray. This was a gray, gray, okay? And, um, but it's, it's blue now. A nice color, too. Really kind of a deep denim blue, I, I'd say. Um, you know, got standoffs. It doesn't have a backspacer. But since this is around 37 bucks, yeah, maybe you didn't want to spend the money doing that. Ergos, though, like I said before, are good. This is not really a, a good, hardy go-forward position. But you can do that, I guess, if you need to crawl up on this to do some detail work and it's a d2 blade i'm not super big into d2 anymore um and it the formula can vary and the heat treat can vary and therefore the performance can really vary and i don't live in a humid climate thank god so this doesn't really bother me per se and I can sharpen and strop, so 
whether it holds an edge forever is not a big deal for me, especially when you're talking about a user knife. This is just a user beater knife. This is not a safe queen. This is not any specialty thing that's going to go in a glass case, okay? So I get that. Deep carry pocket clip, though. And the problem, you can go left hand as well. I was going to say the problem with that, you know, look at the screws. They're just popped right up on top of that pocket clip. Now they milled a space or machined a space for the pocket clip. But then they used these big, huge egg McMuffin top things on there when they could have just used flat screws like that. Now this is the banter from Wii Knives, but see, if they would have just used flat screws, they would have left a lot more real estate for your lip of your pocket to get through there unmolested. But this, not so much. Uh, I like the pocket clip, though. I do like the pocket clip. This works really well. Goes in the pocket really easy. The drop is really nice. There's bearings on here. I don't know if they're ceramic or steel, but we'll find out because we're going to take it apart. And obviously it comes apart because I've taken it apart. I had to take it apart to dye the scales. Okay. So I've had this apart and back together. I didn't have any issues with it. Really strange. Uh, Outpost 76, his blade was off center. And then he had a bunch of blade play. And so I'm going, well, dude, just tighten the, tighten the pivot. The blade play will, I mean, tighten up the blade play and it'll center. But he said he tried to do that and it went all the way to the other side. So, wow. And then he was saying he had pivot lash. And I don't have any pivot lash on this. At first, when I checked it, I did. But so this was backed off a little bit. And so I just tightened the pivot. And that got rid of any pivot lash. You know what I'm saying? where it's got that play in there, but there isn't any. And there's no play in the detent. And I saw Birdshot and Frankie's deal, you know, Birdshot 4, and they had some detent play in their larger one, the smaller one, no. So uh, I guess my concern is, you know, wh where are we going to make sure we get some good QC in there and check these things before they leave? And apparently, uh, it's not doing very well in that regard, is it? Now, I haven't had any really bad uh, issues with CJRB. I can't remember needing to return one or anything. So I guess I'm just lucky. Or, you know, even if 80% of them are really good, you can't have 20% bad. I don't know what that ratio is, but obviously there's some out there that are not centered they've got you know pivot lash or they got play in the detent things like that so this one this is good this is all good yeah so i'm happy with it because i love the design i just think that's really excellent and like i said ergos are fine on this really neutral kind of a palm swell here all that but i mean that really makes it nice and reverse grip is nice as well What's the weight on this? It's under four ounces, 3.95, not bad. At 112 grams, 0.12, so a little over three millimeter, 3.1 millimeter, 13.2, uh, 0.52 inches overall. That's not bad. It, it is a little more meaty than a lot of knives that might have like 0.46 or 0.45 so this is going to give you more width that's going to fill your hand which i don't complain about and it's contoured okay i mean this is nice it's it's not a flat scale like some knives are flat you know and this is a lot thinner this is like 0.45 this is 0.52 but it's contoured uh looks like the blade stock's about the same and the smaller one, and I haven't seen one in the micarta in person, but that might be interesting as well. 
but you know you want to get away from flippers because you're burned out on flippers well there you go thumb studs ambidextrous left right hand not a problem left right hand pocket clip not a problem and you know kick it open however you want uh that that should be good cutting territory there and mine came sharp okay outpost he said his wouldn't even slice paper we already took care of that so yeah this this does that so i'm i'm happy i guess if it was a little bit dull i could strop it up in in any case but i didn't need to that's just right out of the box and this is the box it came in which is different packaging than birdshot got they theirs came on a hang card so go figure right here's this but see, they did theirs in June, so months ago. So they made it had some early production once on their table, and they were saying they weren't. They, there wasn't uh, the liners were not skeletonized. Well, you can already tell these are. Okay, so obviously they've made some changes in the production since theirs in June. Balance. There it is. That's easy. Uh, blade to handle length. We're good. Design flow. Excellent. I mean, this is really, I don't know why I didn't get on this earlier. You can get this also in natural G10. Uh, 39 bucks on white mountain knives. Yes, I got mine in gray. And then you can look at the, uh, information here. Okay. But... And, you know, followed up with that. Ceramic bearings, supposedly 4.3, uh, 4.23 ounces. This is under four. This is 3.95, so I don't know where they got that weight. Uh, maybe that was the micarta. They, they got a typo or something. But you can get it small, different colors, that kind of thing. You can get in the natural G10. I think just the overall flow, design, ergos price it's good I, I you know i prefer not to have d2 i like the fact that stone wash that's kind of a work and finish and that's what this knife is all about so that's good uh, and i'll watch i'll try and watch closer in the future to see if i'm coming up with uh, uh problems on the qc i had the cjrb ria i did recently I didn't have any problems with that per se. Um, also the CJRB uh, kicker, and I didn't have any problems with that. So I guess it's better be lucky than good, right? So can we take it apart? Well, we did once, so I guess we can do it again. And there we go, and there's the pivot surround, all that kind of jazz. And then we've got these screws here, which are number sixes which would be nice if they'd go to number eight. And knock that out. And then, uh, yeah, this, this one goes through, you know, all the way. Into that pass through here. And there's your uh, G10. Of course, it's carved out a little bit, so it'll make room for your steel liner, which is skeletonized. So, okay, go figure. And ceramic bearings. Of course, I've had this one apart, so uh, because I... I dyed the scales, but uh, yeah, this, I don't understand. This was like this when I got it. So somebody cleaned it up uh, in production because of something, but I don't know what it was. I don't know if that's cleaning it up because there was edginess or issues, but it is what it is. Okay, so we do have a D-shaped uh, pivot, which is, uh, you know, you can't start this out from, from the back because it's a D shape. So that's good. 
I didn't spot that right off, but there it is. And there's a little D shape in this liner, keeps it from turning. Not, I mean, it'll keep it from turning too far at least. Okay, so you got bearings, throw them on there or throw them off the table, something. All right, kick that baby on. Another set of bearings. Come on, only one of you, buddy. Okay. And then we got to put our liner on here. And where's our... Oh, there's our, there's our stop. Might be nice to put that in here, too. There it is. I'm going to set you in there. Okay. We're all good. Set this down. Put our surround in here. Put our, our screw back down. And now we're going to put our little number sixes in here. Okay, we're good. And this one at the very end here, because it goes in through that little standoff. And it's tight. Okay, now, are we centered? Yeah. Play? No. Drop? Yes. That was pretty simple. So, you know, if you're thinking about a Feldspar, that's fine. Check it out when you get it. Go through it thoroughly. But if it's good, it's good. If it's not, return it to the retailer. You know what I mean? Plus, Artisan needs to know. If they've got some dogs out there, they need to hear the barking. You know what I mean? It'll wake them up. I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much. You know we do love them knives. That's what it says over there. So you guys stay sharp.